Sir, you did not have to send Lady Eleanor and our king into enemy territory. Either way, I know that it was the best thing to do. I am sure His Majesty wanted it that way. Besides, I... actually, everyone has absolute faith in you, after all. All I can do now is wait. That is why I cannot help but speak with such worry. The vault automatically got hidden for us, so... This fog is really supposed to clear up soon? Of course. Lady Eleanor said so. I wonder how she predicted it. I would like for her to teach me how to read the skies sometime. After me, I am to be taught first. Why? It would be a waste of time teaching you. Besides, do you even have the aptitude for it? What? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, the decoy fleet has been sent towards Elil. It's finally time. Reporting in. We have yet to receive any word from the Second Fleet. We fear all those ships may have been... Uh, understood. Thank you. Captain, a fleet is approaching us. It appears to be the enemy. Prepare for battle. Be aware of the rune cannon's firing range and draw the enemy close. Confirm the fleet's identity. Yes, sir. Not a good decision.
fired too soon. They fired without confirming the opponent. Listen, everyone. Advance straight ahead. Parts of the enemy's main force might have survived. If there are any remaining ships, we'll finish them off. numbers are staggering. There's a strong possibility that what we hit earlier was a decoy. Men, let's go. Okay. This is probably the toughest sea battle that we have at the game. Yeah, so really we don't want to even bother with that attacking with rune shells against that because that usually would we do um, our runes, uh, our rune shells will uh, be cancelled out by theirs and theirs will just go through ours and hit us. Sometimes um, They'll fire like uh, different rune shells than we do, and uh, we'll sail past each other. But yeah, so um, really, the best thing to do with with uh, the flagship there is to go after them with uh, with a boarding party. So well, more than one it'll usually take. So. Wind to earth, landing water. <laughs> Those ones that usually I take out with the rune shells, so. Wind Earth over here, and Lightning Water over here. Let's see, uh, Lightning Earth uh, will go over with that with these two over here, and Wind Earth will go over with this one. So. Yeah, for captains, um, you want to have as m as much mobility with them as you can get, and uh, extra range would would probably be best too, because uh, their flagship, uh, well, our range even uh, the ship will so. Uh, see, wind earth, so. Fire and wind. Okay. Sure. 
or a funding group. I'm not going to be using a tall webby way, so... Yeah, I was thinking Breck, but... I guess it really doesn't matter uh, who I put in uh, for this one. So.
should be good. That'll, you might be blocked, so... more moving. So far going better than I thought it was going to go.
so far really good. And I thought it was gonna be. I'll stop before uh, before I get into the doors. Okay, it's over here. Yeah. I think this treasure chest uh, just has Mega Bitsons. If you're uh, all the way filled up with them, then you don't have to take them right now. Um, when our second group comes through here, uh, they'll be coming through uh, basically where we're uh, leaving an off tonight, so. But. I want to see if uh, Lino has uh, his edge space on his head yet. Okay. <coughs> eh. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, um, good sign off for the night, so, um, I'll, uh, see you later. This is Fish 15, you've been watching. Let's play Sleek at 4, and, uh, when I come back, um, I will, uh, basically meet you right up here, uh, Right when am I going to be hipping into the door, so, um, I will see you later.